Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're in the greenhouse to work on a fun project for the kids actually. So I want to create a wood frame, line it with landscape fabric, fill it with soil and plant it with grass. So we have a little lawn in here for the winter months. I think it's just gonna be kind of a fun experiment uh, and I think the kids will really like it if it does work. And we're in here today rather than planting bulbs, which is what I had planned to do because it is raining pretty hard outside right now. In fact, Benjamin came running into our bedroom this morning and he was saying, mama, it's snowing. It did look like it was snowing. It was kind of the slush that was coming down and it formed a slush layer on the ground, which is now melted and uh, it's now just rain, but it's gorgeous outside. I don't really want to be planting bulbs in it though. So planting grass in here has sounded like a really fun idea. Beautiful, beautiful day. And the willow hasn't even started to turn color yet. We have a couple of nights that are in the teens coming up though, and that'll make things change real quick. So lay up the land here in the greenhouse. We've got tables lining the outer part, which just have some random things on them. Look at this though. I must have dropped a seed for Cosmo right here. And it's just the most cheerful thing to look at. I love it. A hollyhock plant just growing away. I don't know how it ended up here. Seed probably blew in. Uh, we've got some columbine coming up, just self-seeded. <laughs> we just haven't weeded it out. A couple of boysenberry plants I still want to plant. We've got a few tomato plants. I'm, I think I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I might just cut them back. I thought they had spider mites at one time, but I'm not really seeing any evidence of that. This is an evil olive right here. These don't look as good as my other plants, so we'll see. Got a couple of cabbage, some lavender I started from seed. It's got a little bloom stock right there. A few other random things, cannas that are drying, uh, caladiums we can pack up, straw I'm using for a project here shortly. Uh, we've got the olive tree looking just absolutely beautiful. Tons of new growth on it. Uh, and then there's some other things. So there are citrus plants. These are the ones I had in the front sun porch. They got scale so, so bad. We battled it, that and spider mites, and Bethany took them home and just kind of nursed them. And she says she does neem once, oh, I think it was once a month. Yeah, once a month. She told me yesterday she was spraying with neem once a month just to keep everything at bay. And they look awesome. Um, so they're here to winter over. Here's Benjamin. Hey, we're going to plant you a lawn in here today. A grass patch. Won't that be fun? And then I'll, I can mow the grass? Yeah, you can mow the grass. That'd be fun. Hadn't really thought about that. We plant a lawn in here. How are we going to mow it? <laughs> anyway, the citrus right here, this lemon looks just gorgeous. Look at this. There's another one right there. And there are some Rudbeckia here that I'm going to winter over. I was gonna use these in a fall project that we just never got to. So I, I need to do some grooming and things like that. So we'll just keep them in here. There are Rudbeckia that are only hardy to zero, which um, we are a zone six. These might survive outside. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's kind of one of those on the edge. Um, there's some Lonicera right here. This is the Lemon Beauty. And these are also uh, zone seven right here. So we're gonna winter these over. And then we've got some things that I'm still planning on using. I've got some ornamental kale, some helichrysum icicles. Uh, so those are just waiting their turn. And then here are all of our tomatoes. Look at these, you guys. So these are the ones that we started from seed. Look at, this is a patio sunshine right here. It's got blooms on it. And then we potted these up from their seed tray recently. And then these are all the ones we took from cuttings. We took the sucker cuttings and we've got tomatoes forming. Look at this. There's tomatoes back here too. So these will probably be due for a repot. We'll probably do that here in a video soon. Um, we'll get them in larger containers and spread them out a little bit more. And then these are our other ones that we've got in here that I started way earlier. So Cherry Falls and there's a couple of Patio Sunshines and it got a little cold in here last night. I'm not sure at what point the heater got turned off, but the switch was off when I came in here this morning and it shouldn't have been. So uh, I turned it back on. It's heating up right now. It feels a lot better and we'll make sure to, to keep that on. I'm just thankful that nothing, nothing uh, got too damaged in here last night. How'd you get in here? So Aaron, Benjamin, and I are planning to run to Home Depot. We're gonna pick up some boards so we can make our frame. And then we're going to go to the garden center to pick up some landscape fabric. I'm gonna go check the barn though, just to make sure. Um, I know we had some random rolls of it left over from projects years ago. I just don't know how much of it we have. What you doing out here, buddy? Careful, but not get ruined. Oh, let's get inside. 
Woo. You about ready? Yeah. I was gonna double check though about landscape fabric. Do you know where I would look? We have some behind the orchard fence. Is there a lot? There's a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay, so all we need is boards then. We don't have any extra boards, do we? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Are you ready to roll? Yeah. Okay. Erin, we're here to get boards. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? There's always, there's always time for more lights. Yeah. Well, these are giant bows, Benjamin. Look at that. They're metal ones. They're made out of metal. Yeah. That's a bit colorful. Oh, you like the colorful lights? Yeah. Like the one for your bedroom? When did you get one for your room, huh? Because yours broke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think that can fit my room that is too big. It is too big. What if we got this for your room? <laughs> this could be your Christmas tree. <laughs> you, could have, you could wrap some lights around it. And you could put uh, some ornaments right here. What do you think of that one? Yeah, that, we have enough dollars for that. Yeah. Do we have Mm-hmm. Isn't that a pretty one? You like that? Yeah, let's get it. We're going to get four of these boards, Benjamin. We've got plenty of screws at home, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that's all we need then. It's pretty easy. What are you doing? Doing this in one load. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Okay, I can do this. Hold on. Are you sure? Yeah, watch. Got to get my... Got to get the balance right. <laughs> there. Good job. Well, we've clearly arrived back at the house. We're going to start clearing out the back of the greenhouse and kind of setting up the area. Would you like me to get the door for you? Yes, please. Ooh, it's toasty in here. It feels good. Oh. Both of the cats are in here. We were actually talking about how once we get all the grass seed in, we're gonna have to cover the top with some chicken wire or hardware cloth. Otherwise the cats might use it, which would be quite gross. Don't want that. All right guys, so I think what we're gonna do is move some stuff around first. I've got to box up the caladiums, callas, and cannas, get those in storage. Uh, move some of the plants like the rudbeckia. We'll move them forward so that we can kind of clear out that back space. We do want to keep a avenue open to the heater stuff, like that panel over there. Uh, anyway, let's just get it cleared out and get the board set up so we can kind of get an idea for where it fits the best. right that is the perfect size look at that we still have walkways around it I mean we need to center it up a little bit better but <laughs> but it's perfect so we were able to consolidate the tables so we just tipped one on top of the other I uh, found chicken wire that I used over our raised beds in here last winter I was just storing it underneath so that's perfect we'll use this on top of the soil once we're done here I don't know if it's gonna be quite enough we might have to go get a little bit but we've got a good start kind of rearranged some of the plants. So in the end, it wasn't even necessary to move the stuff from back there, but 
it's all organized now. And we moved the olive tree to this corner. There's still plenty of room around it. Like I was able to go back behind it really easily. And once all of this stuff right here is gonna be gone, it's gonna look really cute in this corner. Shooting for production slash, I still want it to be kind of pretty. Yeah. I think we'll get there. Yeah. Okay, uh, screws and a drill. Okay. We were just discussing whether or not we should put like a corner board inside and kind of screw the outer boards to that, but I think we're just gonna screw the outer boards to each other because it's not gonna get any snow or rain or anything like that, just the water we give it. Which with how cool we're gonna keep it in here really. I mean, it'll be warmer than outside, but I don't think it's gonna need a tremendous amount of water. This is that DeWitt Pro, guys, and we're gonna use this so that it helps um, water drain. So we still want water to drain through it like a giant container. why but just seeing this makes me super excited i think the kids are gonna love it this will be such a fun thing during the winter to have grass i think so too i think i've got a little pool uh, pool should set up a little pool in here <laughs> wouldn't that be fun yeah that would be oh don't tempt me all right guys so we have it lined with the landscape fabric which is like overlapped by about two or three feet in the center yeah. because it was you know only six foot wide and this is an eight foot square and then we filled it up with soil i used a tamper i don't know if that's the technical term where is it at this right here <laughs> all i can read on the tag is heavy duty the other parts worn off i think that really helped settle the soil and i was able to walk right behind the tamper and i was leaving like tiny little indents with my shoes so i took a rake and just smoothed it out a little bit. So now we have a fully prepared bed for brand new grass. Aaron went and grabbed his, are you really gonna use the spreader? Yeah, heck yeah. We've used two different varieties of grass seed in our own garden. We've used RTF fescue in the orchard. I went more into detail about that when we seeded the orchard. And then for our main lawn areas, it's a lawn mix. So it's the most popular mix in our area, it does really well. It's a, a mix of Kentucky blue and perennial rye. That is what we're gonna to use today because we happen to have a little bit in a bag. Is this all we have on hand? Oh yes. Oh yeah, look at this. Awesome. So you're gonna spread it with this, not by hand. Yeah. Okay. This is the Scott's Wiz. It's a battery powered grass seeder, seed spreader, <laughs> whatever. All right, ready for this? Yeah. Do you think by using that real quick, Aaron, before you continue, uh -huh. do you think we're gonna have grass seed Oh, I don't spraying think so. out. It doesn't look like it's spraying outside of the box. Are you going to pull the grass that comes up outside the box? <laughs> yes. Okay. Deal. Oh, that does look pretty controlled. Well, ish. Oh. All right, guys, it's done. It's not a lot to look at at the moment, but I think it's going to be gorgeous. I moved the Rebecca down here because I think I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up one of these days. We'll pot them up and maybe create like a really pretty backdrop for this whole lawn area. So this stuff is temporary, of course, just to keep the cats out. 
we used the little loose pieces of chicken wire that we had in here and then found a roll in the barn. So I just unrolled it enough to cover the last little section here and then we'll roll it back up. And then I remembered we have this tabletop back behind the barn that I used to dry onions this summer. Uh, and that was really easy to move in here and it covered it a lot easier. This stuff, you guys, like it works well, but it is a pain to manipulate. So right now it's 41 outside, it's 71 in here, quite a lot warmer. So I imagine we'll see some growth here in the next week or so, I'm guessing, because it doesn't, it does get cooler in here at night. I think I have it set to not go below 50 in here at the moment. However, I think um, our, oh, well, our tomatoes are doing really well, even with that temp. So I don't know. I would love to not have to heat it higher than that during the night, but it's something that we may have to play with a little bit. Uh, but the heater only kicked on a couple of times the whole time we were in here working. So it's not working tremendously hard at the moment to keep it warm. And I did turn the blower off. So we have uh, that double layer plastic on the greenhouse that, and a uh, blower that blows air in between those two layers of plastic and creates kind of this bubble dome which helps keep heat in even more um, so it makes that kind of loud sound though like a loud high-pitched noise and if I remember to turn it off when I'm filming in here it's just so much better for audio so anyway I'll turn that back on before I leave but as we were kind of working in here we thought oh it'd be so fun to get a few more chairs in here maybe put a little bistro set so you have a place to you know put your drinks um, and maybe I've got like a little plastic swimming pool we could put on the ground because it's amazing especially toward like the late part of winter early spring uh, when the sun comes out it heats up in here big time like there were some days this winter where it was 90 degrees in here and we would start getting alerts like heat alerts on our phone and it wasn't because the heater was on it was because the sun was just heating it up. So on days like that, I think it would be so fun to come out here and have the kids just free reign in here, um, be able to get a little bit wet in a pool and get on the grass, I don't know, just kind of a fun project for this year. Last year, you know, we tried out growing corn and beans and I was harvesting those in April, which was amazing. The production, of course, wasn't quite as good as it would be outside the beans though. I'd say the beans kept up pretty well. The corn, you know, was a lot smaller. It wasn't like summer corn, uh, but it's something that I may try again. So anyway, I think what we'll do is come out here maybe every day, take a little picture just to see progression. And then we'll give you updates as the grass starts to fill in. We'll show you how it's looking and it's just an exciting, fun thing to have out here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. With all this rain out here, I think I'm gonna head inside. I'm gonna make chicken tortilla soup tonight, which I've shared with you in a video maybe a couple of seasons ago. It's one of our go-to wintertime meals. Uh, it's one of the soups that Aaron will actually eat. Aaron's not a super huge soup fan, so when I find one that he really likes, I love it. Anyway, that's what I'm heading to do. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.